was two days after the marathon bombing, and fortunately I had made it out to Salt Lake City to a conference I was going to um, because Logan Airport had actually been closed due to the marathon bombing. Um, it was about 8 o'clock at night. I was back in my hotel room and turned on the TV um, and saw the West Texas explosion. Probably within a week or two after the explosion in West Texas, we were contacted by the Texas State Fire Marshal's office and we started to get some information about the form of ammonium nitrate that was involved. We knew at that point that it was not an act of terrorism or we did not believe that it was. Um, and we started working with the Fire Marshal's office to look at NFPA 400 and the requirements there. Um, one of the realizations was that as we looked at the code and looking at how a user is looking at the document, we realized there were um, some areas in the code where it was not overly clear what sections of the code would be required. At that point, I contacted the committee chair. We talked about how we wanted to handle this, and a task group was ultimately formed to start to deal with making changes to the code. So the task group met and we kept adding to the task group. There were multiple organizations involved. We ended up at one point with about 35 people that were involved in the task group, including um, people from multiple government agencies, organizations, industry, etc. We also had a group of enforcers such as fire marshals, um, firefighters, fire um, fighting organizations who were also kind of working on some of these issues the task group was working on independently. And we realized that we had to come together into one single task group if we were going to make this all work. Of course, what that meant was a lot of the task group meetings became even more heated as you had very divergent opinions um, on what needed to be done. And at one point it felt like we were never going to um, get this done. Yeah, the, the opinions that were particularly controversial were um, what is the classification of ammonium nitrate? Is it an oxidizer? Is it an oxidizer 2? Is it an unstable reactive? Where does that um, then send you in the document? And also, what is the threshold above which um, document requirements should apply the maximum allowable quantity, which again is not a maximum, but it's a threshold above which some of the requirements in the documents apply. So after the first draft meeting and the committee input was um, put out there for comment, the committee then met approximately another 15 or 20 times before the second draft meeting. During that time, we continued to have the same issues. I think what happened was with the enforcers is they particularly felt passionate about this because these were their folks that were killed in these incidents. This was their firefighters that were killed. Yeah. When something like that happens, everyone gets so emotional and you've got to back up and say, okay, what's the technical end of this as well? What's, what do we technically know to be true, not what we emotionally um, bring to the table? And I think ultimately everyone kind of agreed that we have to reach consensus because if we don't reach consensus, nothing is going to change in this document, and we all agreed that that would be a shame. The challenges, I think, that still exist with the storage, handling, and use of ammonium nitrate include um, the issue of ventilation. The committee was not able to vet that particular issue during this revision cycle. The question is whether or not a well-ventilated fire prevents ammonium nitrate explosions. But the committee really did not have the data, the information that it needed in order to put in particular ventilation requirements. So we are staying on a three-year cycle, recognizing that there are probably other changes that we'll want to make. Um, I think once this document actually gets out there and is used, we'll find out what works in the document, what doesn't work. Are there gaps that we've missed? Are there things that we have not connected the dots on? This is an improvement. The code is great. If everyone implements the code, I think you, the likelihood of another West is probably minimal, if at all. But again, it's 
how do you get those codes adopted and how do you get the most current code adopted in a state.